So for today, we're finally reviewing the Starfarer set. I finally got all the pieces. And this is going to be a little bit different from previous reviews from sets. So usually how I would do it is I would show you the armor set. I would show you how it shaders and then I'll give you an example set at the end. Now, I've decided not to give you guys an example set first and foremost because I want to keep this more of a of a review type feel. And because I've already done an example set with the boots, I have one currently working on one for the chest piece and then maybe the helmet and the arms are also going to be videos. So it is a little bit more work for me because I have to make separate sets for pretty much everything else. We'll see if I like the piece, it'll have a video, which is why the boots got one and which is why the chest piece is also going to get one. The helmet and the arms, I'm still thinking about it because again, instead of making one armor set, now I have to make four depending if they're really good pieces or not or five. So just be aware that this one does not have an example set, but I will have a uh, an example set like tied in from another video so just be aware of that let me know if you guys like this format or not if you want me to go back to the the review and then have an example set at the end of the video let me know but i think this format's going to be a little bit better because that way you can just see the the armor sets what how it shaders and then that's it and then if you want to see an example set you guys can actually go to the different videos that i probably will have so again let me know what your, your thoughts in the comments below uh if you could do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So again, do me a favor, subscribe, like, the, like, comment, everything uh, really does help. And I thank you for doing so. So other than that, let's get into it. So Starfarer's set is pretty cool. I think all these pieces are really good and usable. I do think out of everyone, I think the Hunter and the, and the Warlock ate the best. Not saying the Titans looks terrible. Actually, I really like it as well. I just think the helmet is like it's cool. But at the same time, I just don't think I'll ever use it personally. It's one of those things where like it looks cool. It definitely would fuck with it. It's just I don't know what I would combine it with. Uh, so let's actually look at everything from the top down. So for the helmets, I'm actually a big fan of the helmet. The hunters have a pretty cool one, but it does kind of remind me of the Scatterhorn helmet, which is kind of a big bummer for me because I do get what they're trying to do. They have one eye open and the other one has a patch or an eye patch, which is cool. But I think the like gas mask thing in the mouth, I just think that should have been a little bit better or just should have been like a skull like the Titan helmet. Speaking of the Titan helmet, I think the Titan helmet's really good. It's just, again, it's so specific that I just don't know what I would combine it with. And then for the helmet, I think the Warlocks won the helmet. I think the, the Warlock helmet just looks amazing, like truly fantastic. And I cannot wait to mess with this one because this one honestly is my favorite helmet from the whole sets. For the chest piece, I actually think obviously the Warlocks got the best chest piece from this whole set. Uh, Warlocks really die on if they have a good chest piece or not. And I think this chess piece is amazing. You have a saber in the back. Not only that, I like the insignia of the of the uh, fallen insignia on the side. I think that's really cool. Overall, I think this is like one of the best chess pieces that the Warlocks got. I know some people might argue with that because it is a little specific. But at the end of the day, it just has so much style to it, which is why I really like it. I can't really say the same for the Hunter or the Titan. Don't get me wrong. They're not bad. They're actually pretty cool. It's just that it looks kind of boring compared to the Warlock. So that's really not fair because the Warlock has much more than just a chest piece. It's really just like more robes and chest and then arms as well. So the Warlock has a lot more stuff in the chest piece than the Titan or the Hunter, but there's just something about the chest pieces for those two classes that just kind of look basic to me. Uh, for the arms, I'm actually a fan of the hunters and kind of not at the same time. And it's kind of the same thing for the for all the classes. I like the arms, but at the same time, do, will I ever use them? Probably not. The best one I would probably use is the warlocks and the hunters. And even then the hunter, the only reason I'm using it is for the right side of the arm. The left side I think is terrible. For the Titan, I think, I think if I had more leather pieces or if I combine it with other chest pieces, I think this could be really good. 
but I just don't know how I feel about it. I still have to like mess around with it a little bit more to see if I can really me make it look good or not. But just from like my first reaction, I was just not a fan. For the boots, I think the Hunter won this not even close. I think the boots look amazing. They have a really cool texture. Not only that, they have like this uh, cloth on the left hip that's actually connected to the boots themselves. Super small and minor. But when you combine it with chest pieces that have cloth, it looks really cool. The boots I also think are really cool. I think I love the fact that uh, the tips of the feet are pointy and the only armor in this is going to be the boots and the like shin guard on the left leg. So you also have a knife on the right side, which is really cool. Overall, I, I'm, I'm in love with this boot, with these boots. I think they're some of the better boots we've gotten. Titan, on the other hand, I I know what they're trying to go for. My only complaint is it's a little too specific, specifically the uh, the like cloth overhang on the bottom of the knees. I think that's a little too specific. I know what they're going for, but at that point, you're really going for Buccaneer, like like a pirate themed. And I get it. It's a pirate themed pirate themed armor, but I think those specific like cloth hoops, I just think that's a little too much because now I have to like work around that. And if you guys saw my my boots video, which I made sets for the boots, you guys will know that for me, the weakest portion of the whole sets was the Titan. I just did not like how the Titan's boots melded with everything else. Uh, I don't think I actually say it in that video or I do. Maybe we'll see. Looking back now, I just don't like the hoop. For the Warlocks, I think the boots is really good. I like the fact that one side is like just Gucci out the hell out and the other side is kind of bland, but it actually makes sense when you actually look at the whole set because that the side that's bland is the side that's showing not showing off while the other side is so it makes sense but it's just unfortunate because now you have to work around that for another chess piece if you decide not to wear both of these uh but i do like it i still like it i still think it's going to be really good to combine with pieces that have an open left side like this chess piece and then for the class items i think the hunter I want to say the hunter won it, but I think the Titan has the best class item. It looks so fucking cool. I love the fact that it's buckles because obviously pirate thing, but I think these buckles are a lot better and you can actually work around it. Not even work around it. You can just use it. It looks really good for the hunter. I like the crown in the back, but I just think it's a little tacky sometimes. Uh, I, I like the gold on the art on the side of the cloak. I think that's cool. It's just personally the crown is very hit or miss sometimes for me. And for the warlock, it I'm going to be real with you guys. It's really rare for a bond to really wow me. And this one doesn't really wow me. It looks cool. Don't get me wrong. Like it'll do the job, but I'd be lying if I said like, oh, I, I would have liked a pi like a, since it's pirate themed, I would have liked like a parrot or something like piratey there because that just kind of, it's kind of weak. I'm not going to lie. Maybe like some doubloons on it. I don't know. It just kind of looks boring to me, but that could be said for a lot of warlock bonds. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I really like these sets. I think the Titan is the worst one from all of them, but I do think they have the best, best class item by far like it's it's not even close and i think the warlock has the best pieces overall and i think the hunter has like the best boots uh, like out of everyone i think the boots are just amazing so let me know your thoughts are you guys gonna be rocking this we're gonna be looking at how it shaders in a bit i just want to know what you guys think about the base armor set as for how it shaders i think it shaders pretty well we're gonna be looking at echoed anger first and right off the bat you guys are going to see that this actually takes off colors quite a bit specifically the chest piece most of the time but you guys can see the brown that's actually off color to echoed anger for cloth specifically and i'm not the biggest fan of that brown so for me echoed anger is not going to be used at all for this set because again i'm not really a big fan of that brown but from what i see a lot of pieces are shadering really well i tend to not like a lot of white with echoed anger so that's another reason why i probably won't use the shader with this but overall i think pieces are looking really good with it i think the helmet for the titan looks really good with this shader i think the 
cloak looks really good for the hunter and the fact that the cutlass for the warlock actually changes the saber to like a red is also really cool for abyssinian gold i think this is probably one of the better shaders for it because a lot of it is just black which is really good you definitely want to see that from abyssinian gold and i think the hunter and even the titan actually everyone has just pure black and gray i think aside from the helmet yeah it's really good even the bond on the titan the even the bond on the warlock is black which is rarely you rarely ever see like actual armor pieces be like black or gray for Bisney and gold usually you'll have that brown tint which i'm not a big fan of so Abyssinian looks really good with it. Not a surprise considering Abyssinian gold looks really good with cloth. So this is definitely something you, you want to keep in mind. Just be aware that Eververse is selling the Abyssinian gold shader right now. If you didn't get it last week, I highly suggest you get this this week because it's a really good shader. I will actually make a review for this shader because it's come twice and I think people really need to get on this shader. And last but not least, we have Sato Tribe, which also looks really good the only unfortunate part is i think sato tribe uh looks a lot better with armor pieces because then you get this really good blue this white it looks so good and with cloth armor you really you rarely ever get those combinations instead you get this really dark like electrical look because there is like an, an animation within the shader with cloth and even with the plate but with the cloth you can see it a lot more i'm not a big fan of this shader specifically i think abyssinian gold looks a lot better with it so yeah let me know what you guys think about this armor set in the comments below i really like this armor set don't get me wrong i did bash the titan a lot but that is because i haven't i've used the titan the least because right off the bat i didn't like a lot of the pieces to it but as a whole i really do like it it's just unfortunate that some of the pieces have pieces that i just think are way too specific so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me again links are in the description below thank you guys for blowing up the channel i have been my analytics have been looking really good so i'd appreciate it if you guys keep blowing it up keep doing your thing and i will see you guys later